So today's video is about how to learn Chinese, easy ways to learn Chinese, the best ways to learn Chinese, whatever. It's just about Chinese language and how to learn it and how did I did it and some tips and tricks that I use that it may be helpful for you if you're learning or you're trying to learn Chinese. Okay, first thing you need to know is Chinese language is very complicated, okay? It's not just hard, it's complicated and Chinese language that's probably wrong saying Chinese language because I'll say Mandarin we call Pu Donghua because in Guangdong, Guangdonghua they speak Hua Mandarin language not Chinese because some people will be like Chinese language, there's so many Chinese language blah 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 <laughs> Another tips and tricks that I use to learn Chinese is using Weixin, WeChat so that's one of the most important things you will know when you come to China like so here's my Weixin if you can see it I'll show you guys, you're gonna see my conversation, so uh, that's my Weixin app it's here, like the green one I will put like the link somewhere up here so WeChat is the amazing app you can pay bills, you can do everything with WeChat it's just amazing you can even do your group work projects in WeChat I do that with my classmates we have groups for everything in WeChat so when I discovered WeChat like my second year actually I didn't know about WeChat my friend introduced to me she told me you can actually search for people around you can search for people around and don't do that I don't do that anymore because when you search for people around people will find you even if you don't talk to anyone and just see the people around you're like okay then you'll see like 20 people requests and you're like who are those people because from the moment you search around people will see you around so in the beginning I was like my friends say wish is so cool you can meet new people and talk to new people so I was like yeah that's perfect you can find language partners but you know the weather here is always pretty much cold and you have a different schedule your language partner has a different schedule you may meet each other once a week or twice a month so it's not very effective if you really want to practice on a daily basis or being talking with someone wish is one of the best ways because you're just sitting and texting and you're practicing your chinese or you can send voice messages and you're practicing your koyu and if the other person actually can understand your koyu your pronunciation so it means ah oh, your chinese is not that bad and vice versa, he can or she can practice her English. So I told go, oh, WeChat was perfect. So in the beginning, I was just going to look around and all these people adding me, oh, pangyo, pangyo, ni hao, like, okay. And I just add all of them and we were talking all the time and it was actually a great way to practice my Chinese. <laughs> and I actually met some good friends that I'm still friends to today by WeChat and by practicing Chinese and sending voice messages on a daily basis. What are you doing? I'm going to school, I'm going to eat, okay, this and this, and signs about China, your country. And that's actually one of the ways that I practice my Chinese without going out. <laughs> it's one way, we should. The app you should have is Pleco. It's not to learn Chinese, but it's pretty much because you need Pleco for everything. I'm gonna put it right here. You need Pleco for everything because it's an offline um, app. So wherever you go, if they don't get what you're asking or what you want, you can just go to Pleco, type in English or in Chinese, and then just show to the person and they're gonna be like, oh, okay, so they understand. So just talk. <laughs> you can't get better if you don't talk. That was with me when I didn't speak English. I was so shy and scared to say something wrong. But I was like, this is not my language. At least I'm trying, okay? So <laughs> watch Chinese TV, drama, Siri, anything. Just do it, seriously. And some of them are actually nice. Chinese ones, uh, I can't really recommend. No, there is one was pretty much nice. I don't know the title, but I have in my old computer my friend gave me. And, but the other was one that I tried to watch, they were a little bit weird. <laughs> but I went to this like Chinese Yoku, you have like Yoku, it's kind of like Chinese YouTube. Uh, better than YouTube, I guess. Now you gotta pay to watch series and everything, but YouTube doesn't even have series and stuff like that. Just old movies. But yeah, you can like kind of find everything there. And I used to just go and see series and just click any series, romantic, or action, and just see what they have. I just wanted to practice my ears, I just wanted to listen. So, and if the story is actually nice, you actually are more curious to know what's going on, what's gonna happen next. And most of them actually have translate, they are speaking, but they also have the hands like the words. So, you can stop sometimes and try to read and understand, or just go slow and okay you don't really uh, understood what he was saying but by reading you're like oh i understand maybe there's one word you don't you go and you search and you actually practice it but you actually like what you're doing and it's not like a pain in the ass you know what i mean so watch chinese series especially taiwanese taiwanese ones are amazing i watched so many taiwanese series and i was like oh my gosh and yeah i wasn't actually 
realizing I was practicing the language, but I was. But it was fun for me because the story was nice and I was like, oh, Taiwan is so beautiful, I want to go. So yeah, I think it's a very nice and fun way to learn a language is by watching TV, series, uh, whatever is your interest. Another way is also by listening to music. Singing, listen to music. <laughs> go to KTV with your Chinese friends and just sing in Chinese and listen to music, listen to the lyrics. And you actually may end up liking the music. I have a lot of Chinese songs that I like. Actually, I have Cantonese songs too. And I have Chinese songs that I like. There's that one that I guess everyone that studied Chinese like heard and know this song. Because um, my friend was telling me, oh, I know that song in Chinese. Um, Jay Shou, where is him? Why can't I find Jay Shou in my list? QQ music is so annoying. QQ music. They keep like blocking me. I'm like, what? Am I? Like, I listen to two musics and it like shuts down. They have this like teen. I love this song. If I can't find guys, I'm gonna write this name here. He's so silly and nice. He's Jay Shou. He's such a famous song. Everyone knows in China, I guess. Teen Mama Da Hua. Ah, it's here. So you can actually find yourself liking Chinese songs if you try to hear them and understand the lyrics and you keep singing and you actually practice in your language. That is a song by Jay Shou. Last but not least, move to China. What are you waiting for? <laughs> yes, guys, move to China because that's actually one of the only ways to learn the language, I believe. This language is so complicated and it's built in a different ways that other languages are. So if you really want to learn it and take it serious, you need to be here. You need to listen to every day people speak. You need to talk. You need to be surrounded by the language wherever you go. So little by little, you're just going to be like, oh, okay, I understand. Like my Chinese is not the perfect, but I survive and I can talk and explain what I want. And I actually understand 70 to 80%. I understand much more than I speak. And I guess all the languages are like that. But it's by living here that that's going to happen and you're going to make it happen. Because it's complicated, like being in another place and learning Chinese. So that's about it, guys. My tips and tricks to learn Chinese. I hope you like the video. If any of you guys are learning Chinese or learned Chinese before, which tips and tricks you did? How did you learn? I also know I have a lot of Chinese people sorry, watching my channel. So, which kind of advice is the Chinese people would give to foreigners learning Chinese? So, yeah, that's pretty much what I used to learn it and to be where I am right now. I think it's nice interactive way to learn. Of course, you gotta go to school and do the UFA, the grandma is like, oh. <laughs> but that's another way to actually learn the language, speak and communicate and just get what you want around. So I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe, like it, follow me on Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Yeah, Instagram, all those social media stuff. Like I'm gonna put it up there somewhere. So yeah, guys, let's keep in touch and see you in another video. Bye.